Let's do some Python on hardware. Okay, this week is going to be a little differently, Dana. Why? Well, there's an intersection of open source hardware, open source hardware news, Python on hardware, all the stuff we're doing. And um, speaking of nostalgia, because we had folks who saw us 10 years ago doing show and tell, um, I've been covering the open source hardware beat for a long time. And there's new and interesting. It covers you at some point. It is. You're trapped in here with me. Um, so, uh, in our newsletter, um, we were walking around, and Lady Eight is like, "Hey, uh, did you see the newsletter?" I'm like, "Yeah, I started looking at it." And uh, one uh, link that was in there that Anne put in there that was really neat. So, besides MicroPython uh, version one two two out, do check that out. Um, Adafruit's a sponsor, both financially and with our code of MicroPython. We're very proud of that. Go to GitHub and you can sponsor them if you want. We do a yearly donation to keep MicroPython going. It's what we base CircuitPython off of. But um, the article was on TechCrunch, which is a little weird. TechCrunch used to cover uh, hardware a little bit more. And um, this was a surprise for me to see it. Uh, I don't know anyone at TechCrunch anymore. They, they, mm -hmm. Lamore spoke at uh, Crunch Fair. I don't know. What was the name of the Crunch Fair? What was the name of Tech? What was the crunch? What was the tech crunch? Oh, yeah. Event? Uh, you were on right before um, the genius guys, the, the lyric genius and Bill, uh, Bill de Blasio. And he was like three hours late. He was really late. But he's really tall. Um, and it was just a quick tech crunch expo or something. Yeah, maybe. Or was it like crunch fest. I don't know the name of it. Crunchy. <laughs> it's like cereal. <laughs> crunch man. No. Uh, crunchy okay. man. So anyways. What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about TechCrunch. Oh, right. But TechCrunch had an article, and the article was, uh, and I saw this in our newsletter, because Arduino has moved to doing more Python on hardware. A million years ago, when Arduino had a uh, dispute between, there was two Arduinos at one point, we were helping the, the good guys um, manufacture Arduinos. And uh, for us, this is very interesting. Um, and then there's this question about what is a clone and counterfeit so. Um, let me go to this. So the article is called, you can go on TechCrunch and search for it, Google, uh, whatever web search you use, uh, Arduino exploring India manufacturing to limit counterfeit sales. Now here is my gripe about this article. So this is a rant maybe, I don't know. This article, I did promise a rant. Th this article, I, I don't think it was on purpose, but this always happens. So at this point, I'm going to say like, the the article is basically summer saying there's counterfeit arduinos and that's the problem with india uh so the uh quote here is um in india there's 3.2 million downloads of the arduino ide but in india there's that's for arduino sales it's less than one percent and the ceo now of arduino says um considers fake Arduino boards the key reason for this discrepancy. Now, the, the problem with saying this is it's open source hardware. Now, if it says Arduino and it's a counterfeit, like it, it says Arduino, they're the Arduino branding. Yeah. That's different than fake boards because then it goes on to say that there's compatibles, there's other Arduinos, but what, and then there's knockoffs from China. The, the problem is it's kind of like, well, blame open source hardware or blame counterfeits or blame stuff. And Lady Ada may have a different or another opinion. So what's not how here's what's not going on in India. There's not full on identical counterfeit trademark infringing Arduinos that are flooding the market in India. It's like ESP 32s and it's yeah. other hardware. Actually, 3.2 yeah. million downloads. That's what it actually is. And to yeah, what of an opinion, which is that. The thing is, there's no way to know because there's no telemetry on what people are actually. Yeah, so which is, it's just fine. I don't think there should be telemetry. Well, we we, we don't know to, what people are. Running. So we're, yeah. The other thing is, Arduino changed a lot. They, they have venture capital and like we don't. It, Lamore is the, I we don't know now, but I think the top contributor still to Arduino libraries, but we don't get information about the downloads. We don't get information about what boards are used. Um, we, there used to be that, but I get get it. Companies change, but the thing when you read this article. And I think this is where Arduino needs to make it really clear. Um, please don't get 
open source hardware confused with counterfeits because yeah, there's people using Arduino compatibles, but don't call those counterfeits. They're Arduino compatibles, the open source hardware. And if you look at what people are actually using, they're not, they're not using, you know, Arduino shaped, you know, 15 year old Arduino designs in India. They're using things like ESP32. They're downloading the IDE for different reasons. It's not a trademark, trademark infringing Arduino. It's an Arduino compatible. And I think that, you know, just saying, oh, knockoffs from China, it, like, it, it doesn't really help people want to get involved with hardware either. So the other part of this um, is they call them clones. So Arduino says that the company currently sells one original board for every five to six clones in the market. So this is where it gets confusing again. So a clone is different than a counterfeit. So now they're blaming clones. Or compatibles. Or compatibles. Yeah. And it says it's a challenge because we are at open source and make money from selling original hardware. Okay. So the clones and counterfeits are a big chunk of the market. So now the quote is clones and counterfeits. So this is now saying clones and counterfeits are equal. No, they're not. A clone hardware. So Adafruit, at one point, we even had the same like trademark attorney as, uh, as Arduino. So there's Adafruit clones. It's great. Tons. It's yeah. It's fine. I'm on my boards are Adafruit clones. Please, all over the place. please go and make Adafruit clones. We don't mean put the word Adafruit on the board. That would be an Adafruit counterfeit. Clones are fine. It's compatible. Clones. This is the point of doing hardware and getting it out there, especially to some markets that can't get it. Like Adafruit can't serve India. Um, there's a lot of Arduino I'm clones in India. expecting it to. And I think another thing is, like I said, yeah. we don't have telemetry. We don't know what they're using. I actually have a, an opinion that I don't believe a lot of people are using at Mega 328 compatible. Okay. Maybe there's some. But I think the vast majority are using Wemos, ESP32, and ESP8266 boards yeah. because they're IoT and they're like $2, right? And like, the, the I think the challenge is that that's what people are using and that's not a counterfeit or a clone. It's something that works with the board, yeah. board package capability of the Arduino IDE. So yeah, um, normally I'd write an article, but you know, I, I, I wrote, I, I just wrote an article not too long ago about the changing faces of open source hardware. And this is kind of the thing I was talking about in my article because it's like, uh, you know, you're conflating things. Please don't do this. So here's the other quote. Arduino is looking to address the problem of fake boards globally by making the hardware more sophisticated, which makes it more difficult to counterfeit. Okay. So there's, there's, there's reasons to add complexity and features, but it seems like if you're adding hardware to make it harder to copy, that's not the mission of education, open source. It's if you're purposely doing it like DRM chips and just like, let's make it so complicated no one can make it. What's the point? The whole point about open source hardware is to make it so other people can also make it. So, um, I mean, I think, I think the innovating constantly is good, but at, like in using sophisticated parts, but I think that there's a little bit of like a miss, there's a mismatch between like, look, you know, make more advanced boards. We want to make more advanced boards, yeah. but like that is not, like, believe me, any single microcontroller board that Arduino or anybody can design, you can send to a reverse engineering company and within a week they'll send you a full schematic and we give you CAD files. And on the other hand, they, they release the CAD files for the non-pro series. So it's like, it's a little bit like, you know, so, I think there's a lot of mix and match. Like, for example, they talk about like the Uno R4, that's open source hardware. They released all the files. Yeah. So I, I feel like, you know, and... I hate to say it. Um, when I wrote about how some companies that were doing open source hardware, they take funding, they stop doing open source hardware, they eventually blame open source hardware. Um, one example was Prusa, the 3D printing company. I just saw them on like Hacker News, and people are like, "Oh, they're you know they're not doing open source hardware anymore because there's too many you know um, counterfeits." Well, no, it's that's not the problem. There's not Prusa counterfeits. There's 3D printing market is really tough. And I was I managed to get some some interview time with um, some of these companies. We're considered a competitor, so often no one wants to talk to me anymore about this stuff, um, even though this is kind of the thing I wrote. But you know, here's an interesting comment just at the end uh, of this TechCrunch article. Um, the person says, "As your article observes, Arduino boards are open source." Um, let me. I made it big so I could see it. Let me see here. Boop. Is this the uh, minus key? There's a minus key. There's the minus key. Yes, sir. The tiny keyboard here. This is the smallest keyboard in the world. Yeah. So the person says, um, as your article observes, Arduino boards are all open source. Um, all hardware and software designs documents are freely available. So calling alternative so sources ripoffs is 
uh, prejudicial. 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 So that's how I feel is like maybe don't call like you have to be careful with these words because I think people who are interested in doing hardware now are going to be like, I'm just going to there's just going to be counterfeits everywhere. It's different than clones. And then the other thing is, if you have a bunch of funding and your investors are saying, make us money and maybe it's hard to develop hardware now, you're like, well, all these counterfeits got to blame the counterfeits. That's not really good um for all of us and purposely making the hardware more complex um do add features do add new chips but if you're making it more complex because you want to try to stop people from copy and pasting and that's from the article that's not the mission that we all signed up for and arduino is built on open source hardware and open source software so that's my like mini article that i'm not going to get a chance to, to write this is important i think especially as all of us who do open source see our things now getting put into closed source stuff so anyways i hope that arduino opens up a factory and does open source hardware in india that's the best solution they're talking about that i don't necessarily think that making it more complex and conflating clones and counterfeits is good this has been going on for years by the way and like we've look at our old shows but please don't confuse people with this because one is trademark infringing it's a counterfeit. It's using your name. It's pretending to be you. And one's a clone. And that just means it's compatible. Separate those two. And, you know, blaming, seeing 3.2 million downloads is like lost revenue. Is not, that's, not, that's not lost revenue. That's people downloading an ID and they're just using other stuff. Because um, it's open source software. So anywho, that's the um, newsletter. And that's the open source hardware news. You can sign up for exciting newsletters like this. <laughs> that will make you think. Over on adafruitdaily.com, that's where we deliver this.